dein Herz. Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and I am here at the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, where I've spent the last week or so uh, checking out a few of the new independent movies that are on the scene for the coming year, 2017. Um, I just thought I'd take a few moments and tell you about a few of uh, the movies I've seen. There's no way you can see everything and so it's, it's kind of hit and miss sometimes, um, but I've seen a few good ones and a few not so great. Um, I'd like to start off by talking about some of the documentaries I've seen because those have been some of the ones that are uh, the most fun that I've enjoyed. Uh, for example, yesterday I saw a documentary called The Workers' Cup, which is a, uh, a film about a special soccer tournament that is held in Qatar for the employees of the uh, you know, construction companies that are building the World Cup uh, stadium for 2022. And it was really sweet, you know, spent some good time with the, uh, some of the people who are involved in the building of it and definitely recommend it uh, when, when you get access to it. It's really worth checking out. Another one, kind of on a similar note, as far as being a really worthwhile kind of a sweet movie is a, a documentary called Step, which is about a group of girls who are on a step dance team in Baltimore who are trying to, well, and they're, they're high school age, they're actually at a charter school for girls, and they're trying to qualify for college. And they're, in most cases, they're first generation college students. And this is the story of them going through their competitions and trying to get their college ab applications in. And it's just a really, really fun one. Definitely been a highlight of the festival. Um, the other documentary I saw uh, is called 7852, which is about the famous shower scene from Psycho. And it's referring to the 78 setups and the 52 cuts that were all factored into just like this, this two minute scene. And so it's kind of this, you know, very nostalgic kind of retrospective documentary on the importance of the scene and how significant it was culturally and contextually and all that. And uh, it, it was it was very interesting. If you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock, if you're a fan of Psycho and horror movies, it's definitely worth worth checking out. Um, what's interesting, though, about it in terms of content is that the only reason that the documentary about the shower scene would be rated R is because they show clips of the scenes that were inspired in other movies that as a result of the shower scene, which I just thought was kind of interesting. Okay, thanks to the magic of editing, I am now on historic Main Street in Park City, and I thought I'd tell you here about a couple of the Utah shot uh, films. In fact, well, one of them is a film, the other one was supposed to be a film, but now it's actually a web series. The web series is called Snatchers, and it's kind of the, uh, a web short, it's gonna be on a, a platform called Phase 13, and it's the story of these two teenage girls who are friends, and one of them, uh, well, she gets pregnant with an alien parasite that is supposed to kind of trigger an alien apocalypse. So it was kind of fun, you know, definitely kind of in the campy, uh, uh, zany. It's, it, it was part of the midnight section at, part, at uh, Sundance, which is typically reserved for kind of like the crazy, you know, the more, uh, the kind of movies that you might want to watch at midnight. And uh, anyway, it was shown to me as part of like the first season of Snatchers was put together as a series of shorts that were all just kind of shown in a block. And again, they will be available online and hopefully uh, the creators are hoping that if it does well enough that they'll be able to put a second season up. And the second Utah film project that I saw was a little movie called Deidre and Lainey Rob a Train, which is literally that. It's about these two girls named Deidre and Lainey, and when their mom goes to jail, because she kind of has a meltdown at her electronic store, the girls have to find a way to pay the bills, and so they decide to become train robbers because there's railroad tracks going in their backyard of their small... Well, it's set in Idaho, but it's filmed in Utah. It's kind of one of those things. And uh, so, yeah, so they become train robbers, and uh, Tim Blake Nelson is in it as the detective who's trying to track them down, and, and it was a lot of fun. I mean, it, it felt story-wise like it needed a little bit of work to, to kind of tighten things up, uh, but definitely kind of a cute little movie, definitely one of the more family-friendly offerings here this year. So thanks once again for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Also, we want to give a shout-out and a thanks to our friends at Rockigator, makers of fine waterproof backpacks. Thanks.